Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be testing out overpriced makeup. And when I say overpriced, I mean $100 setting spray, a $78 eye quad, a mascara, a powder. We've got La Mer, Chantecaille, Chanel. We're gonna be testing it all, full day wear test. I'm gonna get glam real quick here. I have places to be, chickens to see. We're actually gonna go and pick up some more eggs. We're going to the farm. Um, but I wanted to do like a, morning, noon and night, kind of a video old school throwback where I'm actually showing you close up in daylight and all of that, how things are going, looking. Are these products right here worth the splurge? Maybe, I don't have a lot of hope. I'm gonna list all of the makeup below so I can kind of just speed through my normal routine. I'm already primed. I'm wearing e.l.f. Oh my gosh, I'm testing out like super expensive products. And I'm like, you know what I feel like? A little bit of gripping niacinamide primer. Uh, so that is on the face. I am doing my Ula Henriksen Banana Bright and then the Luna and Aster color corrector. That's already on. Oh, and e.l.f. Putty Primer. So we are like a budget babe. And then we're gonna be dipping into like Chanel and La Mer. Oh my gosh, it's just who I am. It's just who I am. Okay, we are balmed. Let's do a little of this. I'm having a morning. I'm not getting my period either. So like my husband is like, are you gonna get your period? Cause literally like the sound of a cup, like going down on the counter was like, oh, like, you know, don't look, like you gave me a weird look. Do you ever have those days where you literally get up on the wrong side of the bed and you're like mad at yourself for being upset at things? Anyone else? Where you're like, I am enraged, but I'm also, I might cry. Wow, I am having that day. Let's go ahead and start doing a little makeup because we need it. Um, okay, it's been a stressful, stressful week. Oh my gosh, you know, like the litigation that never ends. That's not fun. I feel like, like locked. Like I just wanna move ahead and I'm just like, you know, um, there are good things going on too, but it's just been like one of those weeks. Not gonna lie. I show up here and I tell you guys where I'm at, what's going on. All Well, not all of it. I have so much more I want to say, of course, but in time, it's just, if I'm in a mood, I'm going to film and I'm just going to be in a mood. Thanks for understanding, friends. <laughs> There's also something to be said. Anyone else, when you're in this kind of a headspace, at least for me, because I grew up with three sisters and there's something to it where I'm like, where are my ladies? Like I need my sisters, I need my women around me because there's just something that we understand about each other with all the hormone ups and downs and all of that. Love my husband, but sometimes he just looks at me like, like, you okay? Are you okay? God bless them, they just don't understand. What it feels like to be literally a new creation every single day of your life. Moving on. I wanted to like fast forward the putting on the foundation, all of that, but I just have one quick thing to say. I'm doing my typical thing here where I'm doing concealer first, highlighting quite a bit, and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of contour and go on top with some foundation. This concealer from Maybelline, oh my goodness. I have been trying systematically every time I do my makeup, I'm like rating the makeup. How full coverage is it? How long did it wear? Did it crease? What's the full thing on it? I've used this many times on my channel. I've put it in favorites, I've reviewed it. It's been just one of those that I always kind of go back to. Maybelline makes incredible concealers. This, if you have fine lines. I don't struggle with a ton of lines underneath my eyes, but as I've aged, I'm getting like just those little teeny tiny ones where concealer can really crease. And for some reason, this does not crease on me. I'm getting more. I'm going to play around with it again. It's not as full coverage as shape tape or more thick concealer, but it gets the job done and it does not crease. It brightens and I love it. It's probably because I also prime my under eyes with the Banana Bright. I've gotten in that habit, like literally. I stopped keeping this in the bathroom because then I would forget to use this. And I just feel like this really changes the texture underneath the eye, hydrates it, gives you a little bit of that brightness and sets you up to not have as much creasing. So I keep it with my makeup now, kind of like a full blown primer. 
I'm also really liking this Tower 28. I will share with you the concoction that I'm into right now. This Prism Libra Skin Caring Glow Foundation is so nice. I have been loving this. I am in the shade N250, mixed with a little bit of 44 from RS Beauty. This is the Re-Evolve Natural Finish Foundation. I don't know what it is. You mix just a little bit of this with any foundation and it's more like, it's like a juicy glow versus a shiny glow. Two squirts of that. One of this, I'll show you what it looks like right there. I'm gonna go in, three, two, one. I will be right back. Everything is looking great. What I'm gonna go into first, as far as a luxurious item, I have here the Chanel Serum Revitalizing Mist. Now I am gonna douse this on my face because I want juicy, dewy skin. I wanna see what this is all about. I recently repurchased the Sublimage foundation that I was obsessed with. It's like $250. But I'm getting back into the full scope of makeup and this is my job. I wanna try it all. I remember that being such a good one, which was kind of like a big question mark because it was like, why is this so good? But everybody that tried it loved it. It made the skin look so perfect. So I have that again. And then I've been curious curious about other Chanel items. They do make great makeup. Is it so expensive? It's Chanel. Yes, it is. Um, do you get, you get 1.7 ounces in here? Just as, okay, this is almost, this is 3.3. 1.7, that's it. You guys know the way I spray. Uh, <laughs> she could go through this very quickly. This has red camilla extract. It has anti-pollution properties and it is a biface serum mist which will help preserve the appearance of youthfulness enriched with soothing red camilla oil. Refreshing camilla water. This is probably best under foundation and all of it, but I just really wanted to see if it would add a nice glow to the skin. So we're gonna hop right on in. Did I just get foundation on my dress? No. Do we love the blue, you guys? This is like, <gasps> this is my favorite color right now. Anything bright cobalt blue, I'm all about it. I love it. If you find a dress out there that is this color, that's super cute, let me know, DM me. I'm like on a mission. I literally went through like 20 pages on Nordstrom looking for this color and there was only like two or three options. It's surprisingly kind of hard to find clothing, this shade, but oh, do we love it? I love it. Okay, let me stop rambling. All right, so uh, that is next level cloud of vapor mist luxury. Just look at the mist, look. Whoa, it is magnificent. Okay, so next we're gonna go into a little bit of La Mer. This is the Soft Moisture Powder Foundation. This has an SPF of 30. I have been really into brightening the under eye area. And of course, not letting my wrinkles show. You guys know I'm like on a mission to be like, let's get rid of those fine lines. I had this idea because the pink powder, the Givenchy has been such a viral powder, setting powder. I was like, well, what if underneath the eye, I got a, a little bit of a lighter shade with some La Mer, it has an infusion of all those skincare ingredients and see if it would actually reduce any of the crepiness, crinkliness, wrinkliness underneath the eye. So I'm not gonna wear this as a powder foundation. I'm gonna set the face with it and pray for the best. Can you get full coverage out of this? Let's see. It's pretty coveragey. It is pretty coveragey. So what I'm gonna do is take 
One of my favorite brushes for underneath the eye because of that slight point at the top. This is a Letitia Lamac FF4. And first I am gonna take down the shine here. This is also kind of a trouble area for me. This region right here wants to be simultaneously oily and dry. And it's my problem area with the 11s and fine lines. I'm gonna pat out the creases here. I'm gonna load up the brush. That looks nice. I mean, I do super, you guys, love La Mer makeup. Look at that. It does not look heavy, like at all. Something I'll say right away about this is you can load it up. Like you can go in a little bit heavy. It has canceled out my pores quite a bit. It doesn't feel like anything on the skin. You know sometimes how powder is kind of tight? This doesn't have that tightness to it, which I really enjoy. I wanna try with a puff. I sometimes like to take the excess of whatever cream blush I put on before powder and just kind of gently blot it back to life on the face. This is the Danessa Myricks, the new one. I'm wearing the shade Prima Donna. It's so beautiful, but I just kind of do the underpainting even with the blush. And then once I'm done and everything's set, I don't go back in. I just kind of take whatever excess and gently Bop, 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 bop on the skin and it just kind of rosies everything right up. I super love that. Wow. The skin is looking so nice. All right, I'm gonna scooch you guys in for the eyes. Now that we are up close and personal, let's talk about the $78 quad that I purchased from Shantikai. I kind of already have regrets about it, to be honest. I was in Neiman's and I hadn't been to the mall in like half a year. This is in one of my vlogs where I was like buying all the new luxury items and I saved it for a video. I have not swatched, I have not even opened it up at home. I just went online and literally the information on this, look how tiny these little guys are. You gotta be kidding me. What was I thinking? Literally, what was I thinking? This is not right. I already don't like it. I already regret purchasing it, but we're gonna go in anyway and just give it our best. The information that you get online is that this is limited edition, cruelty-free, gluten-free, that it's made in Italy, so we know it's probably really finely milled. There you go. I mean, that's literally like it. So, absolutely beautiful compact. I think it's very, very pretty. I can already tell you that looking at it at home, that it is not worth the money, money, money. It's just, it is not. We're gonna go in a little bit of that brown. Well, actually, that is quite nice. It's not $78 nice, but it is nice. I'm also not using a primer. I wanna see how this wears, if it stays really vibrant, if it creases. Do we love that I'm doing this on a day when I'm going literally to a farm? It's laughable. I roll up and I'm like, I'm here for my eggs. And I'm like, the false lashes, smoky eye, glitter. Embrace who you are. If that is who you are, be who you are. I go with whatever mood I'm in. Sometimes I feel like being really covered up and no makeup and I just kind of don't want to be seen and sometimes my mood is like I want to try all of it I want to be colorful I love that about getting ready like beyond just makeup I love that about fashion too okay this is blending nicely my skin is super shiny I don't love that I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't know that I'm loving this powder I had like all of these expectations of it being like this new hidden gem, like it's gonna be like the Givenchy, it's gonna brighten, it's gonna do all the things. I'm already super 
like shine central through here. And I'm using products that I use on the regular right now. So I know how they perform with different powders. So that's a little bit like, mm, don't love that. Uh, let's get into the bronze shade right here. That is beautiful. This is very pretty. There's not a thing bad about it, but I will tell you this. I just used like an $8 Wet n Wild palette. I did a mini tutorial over on IG and then I linked it in my Amazon shop and put like a little, these are my favorites over on IG. I'm doing that more and more just to kind of let you guys know in my day to day what I'm gravitating toward. If I find something really great, like in the moment, IG, Twitter, faster social, it's easier for me just to connect with you guys like that versus doing the sit down video that I have to edit and take time and post and do the whole thing. So if you want those like quick bites, definitely check out my stories. I'm trying to figure out reels and all of that. Long story short, you can find a palette under 10 bucks to do a look like this. Like you just can, you don't have to spend the money on this. If you want to do it. This is not knocking my socks off. It's not that I don't like it. It's just, you know, kind of like is what it is. I am gonna be doing monthly recaps as well. Where behind me right now on a shelf, I have all the makeup that I have received in PR. And as I am swatching, testing, trying, playing, wearing, I am keeping notes and kind of going through what I wore the most, how it worked best. And then I will do like a lengthier, full on, yes, no, more quick bite review here on YouTube. So stay tuned for that because I definitely will try these products a couple more times before saying yes, no. Immediate thoughts is like, it's nice, it's eyeshadow. It's nothing to write home about, you know? I am gonna go ahead and line my eyes with a little bit of Huda Beauty. This is new, this is the Creamy Coal and I have been reaching for this a ton. It just goes on so smooth and so easy. We are getting places. Immediate thoughts, I hate this powder so much. My face feels oily already. And part of me is like, give up, put your Givenchy on right now. Uh, okay, I might, I don't like it. I don't like being shiny dewy like this much. I feel like my pores look really big. Okay, we're gonna go in with some super expensive Shantikai mascara. I already know I love this mascara. Yes, it is a giant splurge. This is the Faux Sil. It has a lash booster in here. And I have been wearing falsies a lot and I've just wanted to really nurture my lashes a little bit more. And I remember back in the day, really having good success with this. It didn't irritate my eyes. It did improve lash growth and reduce lash fallout. And I just think this is a really nice formula. So I am gonna go ahead and pile it on my lashes right now and revisit some good times I've had with mascara. This was a standalone WTF that I did, oh my gosh, what, like eight years ago? Nine years ago, something like that? It builds beautifully. It does not flake. It does not irritate my eyes. It is crazy expensive. They do have one that does not have the lash booster in it that's not as expensive, but I want all the boost I can get, you know? This mascara is on a whole nother level. This is like so just lash boosting. I don't think I'm gonna put falsies on, oh my gosh. Now, I almost forgot I am obsessed with this Grande brow. This is another, like, let's enhance everything to grow. I love just at the very end of my makeup routine, just brushing this through to set everything in place. And it just adds a little bit of a tint and it's also nourishing for my brow hairs. Now we're gonna go into a little bit of overpriced lip balm. First, I'm gonna line my lips. I'm using Luna and Aster in the shade Inspired. You guys know I've been obsessed with the Laneige Overnight Lip Mask 
and I saw this and was like, well, I'm really into balms right now. This looks like it might be super juicy, super pretty. I just needed to try the texture and I love the packaging. I love the whole feel of it. I like the red Camilla as an ingredient. I just think this could be really good. I don't know. We're gonna find out together. I'm gonna go ahead and use a lip brush to go on in here. I don't think this is gonna have Oh, actually it has a ton of pigment. Oh my gosh. I was not expecting that at all. I mean, uh, this is like the worst makeup day I've had in a while. This is not right. Recently, when I try expensive makeup, it's like not the best day. Like the last WTF revisited was not the greatest day. Now you go over to like e.l.f. and it's like, woo, that looks good. The skin looks good. It's juiced up, but it's still matte. The pores look small. Everything looks blended. The lips look nice. Like the whole thing A to Z is like fantastic and nothing's over 10. And this is like, uh, the whole price of like the elf face is like right in here. It's not adding any volume to my lips whatsoever. It feels like chapstick. Not that it's terrible feeling, but it's like not wowing me. Laneige, how much is this first? Let's talk about it real quick. This right here is $45 and it just does not zhuzh up the lips enough. I thought it would be more balmy. It's supposed to really nourish the lips and bring them to life, revitalize, add a little color. And this is a beautiful package. Like it's so pretty, right? It feels elegant, gorgeous. I'm gonna take it off and put on my little Laneige 100 point perk sample from Sephora. Cause I want you guys to see the difference. All right, so it's off. I'm gonna go in my lip liner again. I am going to clean off my lip brush. You can see I've used so much of this up. It's just like a thicker, thicker situation, but it sinks into the lips so nicely. It's a balm, but it looks like so juicy and you can try to overdo it and you won't get that like separation. It just somehow keeps sinking deeply into the skin and then the lips get very nourished. The lines dissipate, everything looks smooth and it just, no more chapped lips. Like literally this is my absolute diehard fave right now and it's not $45. So that's that you guys, I have very strong opinions and right now I'm not terribly impressed by anything that I tried outside of the mascara, but I do wanna wear this makeup all day long. Let's zoom back out really quick. Okay, ooh. You know how I feel deep down is that I just spent a lot of money to look exactly the same as I always do. That's kind of where I'm at. Aside from this balm, which I just don't think is my color, is my speed, is my texture. I do not like this. The mist, I do want to play around with. It could be why I'm a little bit oilier, like duh, there is a little bit of oil in here. I don't know that that would be exclusively why because I do sometimes put straight oil in my foundation. So jury's out on this one right here. We are gonna still do a wear test. Come hang out with me as I go run errands and uh, we'll see how everything holds up at the very, very end of the day. The powder is already falling apart. I just realized I'm not even wearing highlighter today and it's like, <sighs> if you are a dry skinned girl, you might really love this. All right. Let's go do the day. This might be the worst makeup day I've had in a long time. Sweaty, Betty, pores galore. Puka, what do you think? We just picked up our eggs. It is like 3.30. The makeup has not even been on that long. And I'm a sweaty mess. You're sweaty, Betty. The eyes are, cre this is, do I look luxury? Did I waste my money? But is it the makeup or is it the powder? No, I don't like any of it. The shadow is like falling apart. I do like the mascara, the lip thing, we already know. Maybe you'll like it more later. <laughs> has I, there, has no. there ever been a time that makeup has improved with the longer you it wear it? It looks like I just ran a marathon. 
Like, honestly. Look how sweaty I you look. You look like that dewy fresh girl. But it's not even hot out. It's like literally, I mean, Puka's making you think that it is, but he's just nervous. It's fine. It's not hot. It's not even that humid. But I have like pools of like, ugh, like, oh my gosh, my skin looks terrible. <gasps> I need to wash, I need to wash my face. You look really sad in the background. Me? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me. I'm just trying to like mind my own business over here. Can we give it up for James wearing a different shirt? Yeah. Hey. This place is insane. Oh my gosh, it is crazy in there. We stopped at Bucky's to just use the bathroom, get gas. It's like freaking Disneyland in there. Right? Oh my gosh, I survived. Wow. No joke, like 500 people, right? Yes, like like fighting for their, for their... Snacks. For their snacks. It looks like I literally jogged a marathon inside of Bucky's. Still sweaty. Still. There are more people inside that convenience store than you'll find in most grocery stores. Right? It is a party at Bucky's. Oh my goodness. All right. Makeup still sucks. Want my money back. <laughs> literally, I'm. I could not be more dissatisfied with the state of the performance of this very luxe makeup that is on, well, it's not even on my face. It's like all melting off and I look more worn and greasy than I have in a long time. All right, I will be back with another complainy check-in in several hours. Is it recording? Yes. How do I look, honey? Oh wait, I don't have my light right here. Let's, let's see the, oh, even more shine, shine, shine. This would rival one of your worst Shut makeup up. days. <laughs> ah, I know, right? And I didn't even do anything. I didn't exert any energy. I didn't do anything. Normally when I do wear tests, I'm like, I clean the house, I broke a sweat, I went on a walk, I did this. I sat in a car. And it wasn't a hot car. No. I mean, if you wanna see my previous vlog when I went to go pick up eggs, like that makeup, it held in place all day long. I looked good all day long. I don't know what happened. Yeah, well. All right, um, I'm gonna touch up. Oh, okay. Okay, testing the world's most overpriced makeup. This has been a journey, you guys. I don't feel cute. Part of me is like, don't put this on the internet. Um, I am shocked. I'm gonna first pat off the excess grease, literally it looks like greasy, just oy, oy, like I just smothered my face in oil. Everything that I use today on the regular, so like I don't understand, I genuinely, I am so confused. My skincare stayed the same, the everything else, my foundation, primer, everything is like the same. The eyes, save your money. Do not buy that quad. I don't care if you think it's pretty or cute or you have the excess cash. That one is an absolute no because it just disappeared entirely and is creasing and does not look good. Now, I don't know why the mascara is smudged everywhere, but gosh darn it, it is. Have I grown out of Chantecai? I'm not sure. I will continue the journey on that mascara. It has in the past helped my lashes to grow, so I'm not giving up on that one. I add absolutely do not recommend this powder unless you have very dry skin. I am curious enough to try it again, just on the off chance. Like I did not put much of this on, this mister. I'm like, is that what did this to me? Could this serum mist have done that much damage? I don't think I applied enough for it to do that. But man, oh man, I will definitely update you guys if I can find a way to make this work. But for me and my combo skin, no. Let's see how it touches up. Putty, cakey, I don't like it. I love La Mer foundation. Die hard love La Mer foundation. Oh my goodness. As far as the Chanel lip balm, um, let me just sit here and put on the $5 e.l.f. shroom good vibes balm and say, 
there's no way that you should spend $45 on this. So this is a pass as well. Something because I feel always like I want to share something positive in every video. Danessa Myrick's new blushes, can you see? The pink is still here. So these really stain the cheek. They are vibrant. I like to use them underneath foundation. There are so many gorgeous colors to choose from from really punchy to more neutral. That stayed on the face. Everything else melted down, is off, is out of here. And that is where we land, you guys. Save your money. I'm gonna give you upcoming more of a in-depth, updated, must-have drugstore items. I have over on Amazon kind of categorized like best of Elf. I'm gonna do a best of Maybelline, best of each brand so that if you go to my shop and you hit on Maybelline or Elf or CoverGirl or any of the drugstore brands that you see specifically which ones I love from each brand, let me know if you like that idea. I'm happy to get really kind of compartmental with my favorites. So there we have it, you guys. I really hope this was enjoyable and informative. Let's discover more affordable options because you don't need to break the bank, clearly. You can get it done for much less. All right, rant over. Go have a good one, whatever you are doing, you guys. I love you so much and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.